We are uh, traveling along the Silk Road. Uh, the theme is an early globalization. The idea is uh, to start from Shanghai and to go to Constantinople and Rome. The Silk Road through uh, economics, uh, culture, religion, uh, history, history of art. So we're learning all the way from Europe to Asia and how this um, ancient road uh, of the Silk Road led to the flourishing of trade, the flourishing of ideas, um, how it created a cultural exchange from the East and the West. We start from uh, the Qing Dynasty and we travel all the way around till the One Road, One Belt new Chinese project. Each of us does a presentation on a different topic. So my presentation is on Genghis Khan and more particularly how the Mongol Empire as a mobile nomadic empire did use the Silk Road both for their own advantage in terms of trade and also to share with other cultures and to propagate their rule. My subject is um, miniatures in Persia. So in the art of uh, uh, very little paintings but um, in Islam you can't paint uh, figurative things but in Persia they uh, paint uh, trees and men so it's kind of a gap between Islamic art and Persian art. Currently I'm doing a project on the uh, Buddhist kingdoms in the Silk Road and um, how in the ancient times uh, the f uh, Buddhism was exchange from India all the way into Asia. The idea is not only to study the economy of the Silk Road or what was traveling uh, along with, with men, but what they would discuss at night, uh, the tales, the stories, the superstition, where do they pray, uh, how do they entertain themselves. If I really wish to pursue anything related to international relations, related to um, global global relations in itself, then the Silk Road does have a lot of interesting facts to offer. It's a very living class. You, Even though we're learning about history and things that we might not necessarily have a connection to, it does come to life.